Today I'm looking at the Savoni SV520 90mm achromatic refractor. Now this telescope has a focal length of 800mm and an aperture of 90mm and as you can guess from the regular price of $230 this telescope is primarily aimed at beginners looking to get into visual observing. Now this kit comes with everything you need to get started in visual observing. For one, you have the optical tube here. It comes with the mount and the tripod. It also has slow motion controls on both axes, which are very handy for visual observing. Uh, it comes with the finder scope. It has a 25 millimeter eyepiece included, and it also includes a 2X Barlow to get higher magnification. And there is a, one other package for just a tiny bit more that also includes a 10 millimeter eyepiece, uh, which will give you higher magnification for viewing the planets or the moon or some of the smaller deep sky objects. And it also includes a um, lunar filter. So this is a little 1.25 inch filter that helps you dim the brightness of the moon if it's too bright for you. And then it also comes with a couple of accessories for photography. Now this is not a telescope for serious photography. You'll mainly be using these for images the moon for example or some of the brighter planets so this is a cell phone holder that goes right on top of the eyepiece and it also comes with this uh, little Bluetooth remote that connects to your phone because you'll be attaching your phone to the telescope if you do want to take any pictures and using this remote makes sure that there is no camera shake when you are operating the telescope for photography. Now this telescope also comes with a little cell phone holder over here so you can use whatever planetarium program you like on your phone and just put your phone over here and then whichever direction you point your cell phone in it'll tell you what objects you're looking at over there so that'll make it a little bit easier to find objects in the night sky if you're not very familiar with the night sky. Now most of the telescope is made of metal so it's made of aluminum except for a few small parts like the finder scope. It has these clutches on both axes so you can manually move the telescope around as well but then you can just lock the clutches and then you can use the slow motion controls to move things around. So that is very handy and usually not something you find uh, in telescopes in this price range. So I'm pretty happy with that. One thing I noticed was that the tray for the tripod over here could have been designed a little bit better. I find it a little small to be able to put my eyepieces or accessories in here. So for example, uh, it has enough space to put, you know, one or two eyepieces or a filter but uh, at the same time I think it could have been useful if it was a little bit larger but it still functions well enough for what it needs to do. Uh, you just have to make sure you tighten this bottom knob over here a little bit harder than you normally would and that'll keep the tripod uh, pretty sturdy. Some of the objects I looked at through this telescope were the moon and the moon looked very good. Chromatic aberration was quite minimal because of the longer focal ratio on this telescope and I could see a ton of detail in all of the craters. I also pointed this telescope at the constellation of Hercules and I saw the globular cluster Messier 13 and it actually looked quite good. I could see a decent amount of detail in the globular cluster and then I moved it over to the cluster Messier 3 just above the star Arcturus and again that looked pretty good as well. Uh, I pointed it at the Ring Nebula Messier 57 in the constellation of Lyra and uh, I could see the smoky ring there with a darker center and uh, you know from my Bortle 6 to 7 backyard it actually looked pretty good but if you can get yourself out to some darker skies I think it would perform even better and I tried it for splitting some double stars. So pretty close to the Ring Nebula, I looked at Epsilon Lyra and uh, I couldn't split the double, the two smaller stars into their own two components using the 25 millimeter eyepiece, but using the uh, smaller 10 millimeter eyepiece, I was able to do that. Uh, but I think if you use the 25 millimeter eyepiece that comes with the telescope with the 2X Barlow, you should be able to split that. I was also able to split the star Almac and uh, I looked at a couple of other smaller double stars as well like Polaris for example. I also tried the telescope on some daytime targets so a couple of birds and some of the mountains nearby and it performed pretty well for that and you could actually use your cell phone to take videos through it as well if you're looking at wildlife or the mountains. 
So for any beginners looking to get into visual observing, I think this is a pretty good kit. It includes everything you could possibly need. And it can do some basic astrophotography as well, as long as you stick to the moon and the brighter planets or some daytime targets. It's not made for, for deep sky imaging or anything like that. Uh, if you're looking to do some deep sky imaging, then check out the links in the, in the description of this video. And I have a couple of my recommendations for astrophotography down there. But for what it is for the price and considering everything it comes with, including a pretty decent mount with slow motion controls, I'm actually pretty happy with it and I think it would be a pretty good kit for a beginner getting started in visual observing. So if you do decide to buy this telescope, be sure to use the links in the description of this video as that helps support this channel at absolutely no cost to you. Now if you are willing to spend a little bit more, I normally recommend an 8 inch Dobsonian as a good starting point for visual observing now and for astrophotography there are a lot of good smart telescopes such as the Seastar S50 and S30 and you can find links to those in the description of this video as well. But for anyone on a budget and considering the $230 price point, uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this kit. Thanks for watching and clear skies.